Deadline reports that hackers have allegedly stolen, have in their possession, a copy of Disney's upcoming Johnny Depp film, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. The hackers are seeking a ransom payment in Bitcoin from the studio and will release the movie online if Disney doesn't pay. CEO Bob Iger did not reveal which movie the ransom hackers claimed to have at the time, but Deadline learned that it was indeed Jerry Bruckheimer's fifth movie in the Pirates franchise. Disney is currently working with the FBI and will not pay the ransom. The hackers have said that if Disney does not pay, they will release bits of the film in increments ahead of its scheduled release of May 26. John, do you buy or sell the movie actually hitting online before its May 26 release? Uh, I sell. I don't think it'll hit on. I don't think it'll happen. I, I hope. I. I mean, I don't know. I hope these guys get caught. I mean, this is just stupid. I hope these guys get gonorrhea of the ass. Like, seriously, this is... Yeah. Uh, people who do <laughs> stupid shit like this just infuriate me. Um, and, and look, and I hope Disney doesn't give them anything. And uh, if I, you know, if we know anything about Bob Iger, he's not exactly a guy who can be told what to do. But, I mean, at the same time, it, I'm not in his position. So... If I can speak as a, a the third party who has no invested interest, I go, no, you don't give in to demands of people like this. But, I mean, they may have like hundreds of millions of dollars riding on it. I, I mean, I wouldn't throw the house at the guy if he did give in, but I don't think he will. I don't think they should. And uh, I think if these guys um, are as stupid as they sound, I don't think that anything will happen. So I, I haven't been paying much attention to the story because I think Bob Iger is going to crush him. I really do. But anyway, Schnepp, you heard about all this. What do you think? Sad. I mean, it's like, you know, this has happened to lots of films. I think Transformers 4. I remember Wolverine it got leaked like a month before it was going to come out. Eventually what happens, though, is like, you know, because we're able to track everything that goes on online, you know, there's like little, you know, it's like a little detective. You have to wrap your way around through all the false IPs and whatnot, they eventually get to the people. So whether or not they even release 20 minutes of it, I think it's 20 minutes too much to release. I don't think they should, uh, you know, pay the ransom, so to speak. I think it's a it's an ugly situation that's going to keep happening, especially with big budget films. Uh, I don't support it. So I, I hope that they are able to not pay the ransom and, and somehow catch these guys, who guys, gals, whoever it is, who uh, stole the film and is, are threatening, you know, it's a two, three hundred dollar, three hundred million dollar venture that they're, you know, all thousands of people spent years of their life working on this film and it's all going to be like thrown away because some idiot in a facility wasn't watching a tape or a, a you know, a drive or something. I, you know, that's how it always happens is it takes one or two people to just like hit a download button and ruin it for everyone. So that's kind of sucky. Yeah, Perry. this really has me freaked out for the future. And I wouldn't be saying that if it was just pirates, but we just had the orange is the new black hacking situation, too, where they held it for ransom. They didn't Netflix didn't pay and they released 10 of 13 episodes on on some pirate site. And I have a bad feeling the same thing is going to happen here just because I, they don't know who this particular hacker is, if it's the same person or if that it's a person or a group, but if it follows the same path. And it, it seems like too much of a coincidence that it would have happened with that and then the same exact pattern of events would have been happening with this one also. So if, if that is the case, I don't think Disney's going to pay, nor should they. And then they might do what they did with Orange is the New Black and release it online. And hopefully people are just smart and respectful of the industry and just can be smart enough to know right from wrong because this is freaking awful and I'm kind of terrified that it's going to continue happening. Yeah, it's just it's a headache for Disney because now they have to get a Bitcoin account. Like, who just has <laughs> one of those laying around? Now you got to deposit money into that if you were going to pay them, but the mouse does not negotiate with terrorists. He's got a very special set of skills, skills used to find people like these pirates. I hope they find them. Um, I guess I, I hope that, that uh, the acting director of the FBI doesn't get fired before he can find these people, <laughs> but it would be nice to have this not go down because it's a crappy situation. It is really ironic that it's a bunch of internet pirates that are stealing pirates of the Caribbean. Like, we need to get some old school <laughs> pirates on the case, get them to find the treasure trail. I, I don't know that... Like, where do you go to watch this, though? Does anybody know? Is this the dark web? Where do you go to watch? I'm not asking for me. I'm just curious. Like, okay, we're going to release it online. Where is it online? It's not on YouTube. It's no, not it's on tor video. They torrent it. It's torrenters. So I can yeah, just... uh, that's where they probably go. But we'll see how this whole situation works itself out.